Alan, talk us through oh, what you saw on your goal. Obviously, the great through ball, and then your finish. Well, as I said, I just saw a great through ball from uh, Michael Reed. He gave the ball to Levo in a great pocket, and uh, I was out in the wing, and I was waiting for my time out there because I knew Levo was going to look up to see where I was, and there was a lot of space behind. He played a wonderful ball through, and you know, from there, it's 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 you know my job to do what I do and score. So it was really good. It was really fun. Ken, how was it getting back on the field after? two months out. Oh, it's wonderful. I mean, this is what we live to do, you know? So being able to get back on the field and help the team get a shutout, back-to-back -back shutouts for our team, so it's important. Uh, Coach mentioned this was kind of like a charmed out period for you guys here at Nissan Stadium today. I was curious what your takeaways were with the, uh, the attendance being over 13,000 so far just in the U.S. of the season. I mean, it's exciting. It is, but, you know, it's playing in a crowd like that, you you get hyped up a little more, regardless of what you think. Obviously, if there's four people or there's 13,000, you want to have the same mentality, but it does give a little motivation. And it's 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 crazy to see how Nashville's <laughs> it's crazy to see how Nashville's grown and like how how committed they are to you know to soccer in these past two years. And it's we're trying out and we're hoping making it because it's 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 a beautiful thing to see. Okay, Alan. So you received Player of the Game distinction tonight. Talk to me about how it feels to grab that first player. Uh, it's just good to get a win, to be honest. Like it, whether it was Nissan or first Tennessee, it's still a league play game, and especially against Indy, you know they're they're in the top half of the table, so we need as many points as possible. And it's like I said, regardless whether it's at Nissan or it's away or if it's at first Tennessee, it's it's great to get a win. Alan, you and Carlton switch sides. I think shortly after uh, Daniel's goal, what what was it that I, I guess made you guys? Uh, play on the opposite sides from where he started the game. Did, was it something that Gary saw or something that you guys felt was going to work for you guys? No, it was, I think we were transitioning him from a corner kick and he made a great defensive play and ran on, you know, he covered for me. You know, he says, hey, just stay out there, you know, don't, don't run your legs. I was like, yeah, sure, we'll just switch. And we're very interchangeable. We can play right or left. And it was, it was a good thing I switched to the right because, you know, that's where <laughs> I got my goal. So it, was, it, it all worked out in the end. Can you play a little bit more like in front of the back four instead of as a traditional center back? How, yeah. how, was, how was that? Well, it's a little bit of a different role for me on this team, but it's something I've done before. All through my college career and youth career, I played the six, four. Even professionally, I've played a number of games at that position. So coach knew that, and he just slotted me in to kind of help protect the back line, and we were able to get the shot up. Obviously, you guys want to win every game, but does it – mean a little bit more when it's a team ahead of you in the table right now? It's very important, especially we count every point. We're coming down, not quite down the stretch, but we're over halfway through now. We're playing catch up to some teams and we want to get in that top position, top one or two. So to be able to win tonight and catch them a little bit was very important.